Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at chapter 15 and verse 20, just one verse today. Let's read it. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. So this was the prodigal. He left home uh, in a blaze of, of youthful anger and he took all of his stuff. He took the father's inheritance. It's like saying, God, Dad, I wish you were dead. Took it out there, lived wildly, was crazy. Uh, lost all of his money, burned it all up, wound up uh, in a famine, feeding the pigs among the heathen, just total humiliation. He finally comes to himself and he says, if I just go back to my father's house, at least I could be like a servant. At least at least there'll be a little bit of food for me because, you know, my father's rich enough. He goes back home. Now notice the, the situation here in our text. He arose and came to his father. Some people think about coming back to God and they never come back. They just They just think about it. But this guy... Praise the Lord. He actually gets up. He gathers up two or three things he had, and he goes, and he goes to his father. He goes, so he knows the way home. He knows the way home. And when he was still a great way off, his father saw him. Why is that? Why would that be? Well, because, as I'm sure you've heard someone talk about this before, the father was out watching for him day by day, watching for him. The father was hoping and praying and desiring and wondering and thinking and perhaps Perhaps hopeful that out of some crazy providential leading that, that this, this son would find his way home. And one day, one day, the father's prayers are answered and the son comes, comes he sees, sees him in the distance and he knows kind of the way he walks and he says, that's him. This is an answer to prayer. And the father, you know, he didn't go, go out there full of dignity and just say, uh, well, son, you know, have you, huh, I told you so. Have you learned your, it's none of that. He comes running to him, totally in, in, indignant, it's totally beyond, it's not, a, it's not, an old man doesn't do that. But this man runs to his son, he gathers him up in a big old hug, and he just, they weep together, and he's so glad to receive his son home. He's so glad, and that's the way the father is when you or I, if we've lost our way, when someone's lost their way and they return to the father, the father is just so filled with joy at the return of that, that soul. Oh, friend, if you've been away from the father, it's time to come home. The world is not getting more righteous. We're moving toward the very end times day by day, kind of in marching rapid strides right now. And so it won't be that long until we have a literal, physical, visible, audible, personal second coming of Jesus. Friend, is your heart ready? Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for what this lesson tells us about you, you, the Father. Through this parable, Jesus is teaching us how ready you are to receive us back home. Oh, please, Lord, turn our hearts towards you. Receive us back into your loving embrace. Thank you for your mercies. Oh, Lord, help us to return home. May everyone who's gone away return home. We ask and plead for your workings of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So, friend, may the Lord lead, lead all who were lost, lead all the lost sons home. There's not many hours remaining in the history of this epoch, of this time on planet Earth. The end is coming. Jesus is coming soon. There's no better time to return than in these crazy days of the 2020s. Let's go back home to, to our Father. God bless you today.